What's up, y'all? Today, I'm here to teach you how to turn your Instagram lives from this to this. Let's go. What's up, y'all? This is JJ Harris, AKA Tech Boogie. And today I'm here to show you how to use your camera to go live on Instagram. Up until recently, you could only use your phone to go live, which sucks because Instagram right now is probably the best platform for getting people engaged with your brand. But being able to use your camera was always my dream. So recently when I found out there was an app that came out that lets you do exactly that, you know, I got super excited and I've been putting it to use and helping people that I work with with content also put it to use. So I'm excited to, to teach you how to use that today. So first, I'm gonna break down what you all need, um, hardware, software-wise, to actually make this happen. And then I'm gonna show you how to set it up and do a sample live with you. So, all right, let's go. So before I go into all the hardware that you need, just to let you know, I have links in the description to all these pieces of hardware. So don't feel like you need to write them down right now. Just pull them up in the description. I do get a very, very small commission on the purchases you make, but it helps me continue to create more content. So thanks for supporting the channel. First, you will need a DSLR, camcorder, mirrorless, really any camera that has HDMI out, which is most cameras that have been built in the last six to eight years. Um, you'll also need an HDMI cord uh, with an HDMI adapter. So the HDMI adapter is really what plugs in directly to your camera. So you need to look up to see what type of HDMI out that your camera has. Next, you'll need a capture device uh, to get your camera signal into the computer. I've used a couple, and my preference right now is the Elgato Camlink 4K. Uh, for its ease of use and that it's pretty much plug and play. Next, you need a tripod, obviously, to put your camera on. Software-wise, you'll need something called OBS, which is the streaming platform. And then the third-party software that lets you run uh, your stream into Instagram Live is called Yellow Duck. So make sure you have all these things ready before we go to the next steps. Okay, now to get this going, first we wanna get our camera signal into our computer which is super easy to do with the Elgato capture card. Uh, you'll want to turn your camera into video mode, set your camera settings to 30 frames per second. We want to then plug in your HDMI cord to your camera via your uh, adapter that specifically fits your camera. So once I have that cable plugged into the camera, then I wanna go from the cable to the Elgato a capture card and then from the Elgato capture card since I have a newer MacBook Pro I need to go a USB to USB-C adapter so plug all that in and then let's jump into the software all right so you want to download and install OBS and once you get that going I pre-installed it before this this is what your screen is gonna look like first we want to go to profile at the top here Hit new, and let's do, let's call it Instagram live test. Boom, okay. Now we wanna to go to settings over here in the bottom right. And we're going to go to output. And under video bit rate, we're gonna drop this down a little bit to 2000. Set the audio bit rate to 128. We're bringing this down a little bit because the streaming settings on Instagram Live uh, need to be really low or it's gonna skip and be jittery. So we wanna get that dialed in. Go to video. And now we actually wanna set the resolution that you're gonna see. So here on base output resolution, we wanna set it to 720 by 1280. All the rest of this is okay. So let's hit okay. All right, that gives us our Instagram Live format. So now we wanna actually pull the camera source and get the camera source into OBS. So we wanna hit the plus sign under sources down here in the bottom left and hit video capture device, hit okay. And from the drop down here under device, 
you should see CamLink 4K or whatever camera that you're using or adapter, you can get that plugged into here. So CamLink 4K is my camera and it should pop up that signal. And then I'm gonna under preset hit high so we can get the full resolution and then resize it, hit okay. All right, so we see that our camera signal is massive because I'm shooting 4K right now. So we need to grab this handle right here, drop it down and shrink it so it fits inside this box. All right, resize it so it fits perfectly and boom, line it up. So that's my look right now. Uh, is what it's gonna look like on Instagram. Personally, I want to uh, shoot this on a wide angle lens because it's not getting enough for my, uh, for my preference. So I'm gonna switch lenses real quick, okay? Okay, now that we got the look that I want here, one more step in OBS before we get it plugged into Instagram. Under sources down here, we wanna hit plus because we need to add an audio device. So let's hit audio input capture right here. Hit okay. And so you got a couple options here. I have a microphone plugged into my Elgato, which is this CamLink 4K. So I want the audio then to come directly through the camera. But if you don't have a microphone uh, built in, you know, plugged into your camera, I recommend using your laptop's microphone. So let's hit CamLink 4K. Boom. And you see bottom, this is the audio input down here at the bottom. You can hit the little gear sign. And then you're gonna wanna hit advanced audio properties. Okay, sync offset. Let's set this to 200. Um, this gets rid of any delay that you're, go that you're gonna have when you, when you plug it into Instagram. Okay, this is, this is what we have here. All right, next step. We want to download and install uh, Yellow Duck so we can set up the streaming part to go into Instagram. So let's install this bad boy. Ba ba bam, ba ba bam, ba ba bam. Okay. And let's pull it over here. Okay, got that going we can open up our applications i'm going to put it over here for now okay let's open that up right 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 hit open all right it takes a little bit of time to download these packages all right, so we got Yellow Duck open. So I gotta say this is really important, you know, before we jump into this, this final step, is that, you know, Yellow Duck is third-party software. So as a disclaimer, you know, you're gonna be giving your login credentials to this company that seems to be a new company. So, you know, it's really up to your discretion whether you feel comfortable giving that information. It seems like a legit company. There's a lot of people using it so far to go live, especially a lot of DJs. So, you know, it's really up to you. In my experience, it works great. So next step, we want to put in our login information here. So I'm actually gonna put in my backup account cause I, I wanna do this as a test and not to my main account. All right. And then you wanna put in your credentials here boom all right so I want to turn off commenting and I do not want to save the video to my story afterwards but you do have these options just by clicking that button now before I hit login and start I want to say when you hit login and start right now you're gonna be live on your account uh, so you want to make sure you have your OBS up and running like ready to go and one more thing is that you also want to have your phone ready to go and you want to be logged in to another account that's not the one we're using uh, to log in via your computer so a backup account so you can watch the feed and be able to make comments because you can't log in on the app on your phone to the instagram live and the computer on live at the same time so i have my phone ready to go I got OBS ready to go here and I'm gonna hit login and start. 
and hope this works. Okay, I am live. So now to get that video signal over, go back to OBS. You're gonna wanna hit settings here. Go to stream, hit custom under service. And under our URL server, you're gonna hit this first one, hit copy. Boom. And then for the stream key, you're gonna hit copy on this. Paste. Boom. Hit OK. And you're gonna hit start streaming here on the right hand side. Okay. So it looks like it's going and let's check in our phone to see, see what pops up. Okay, I see just to test at the top. It looks like we're live, baby. All right. Can you hear me? Can you see me? How does it look? Am I fresh? Okay, now that we are popping, we are live on Instagram. Now I wanna show you guys how to put a little sizzle on top. So in OBS, maybe you wanna add a logo or animation or something like that. If you go to sources down here, hit the plus area. And then you can hit image, hit okay, boom. And let's pull a logo up. So I'm gonna put my business logo here. Hit OK, and then hit OK again. So it's gonna be huge, because this is the full size of the logo. Let's uh, make this a lot smaller, so this will look good on screen. And put that down here at the bottom. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, fresh. Now, I mean, that's it. Next step is you'd want to, when you're done, go on a yellow duck, hit finish, and that's it. And you can hit stop streaming over here. All right, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is JJ Harris, AKA Tech Boogie. And please subscribe, because I'll be releasing videos like this every week to help you, the creators, live your best lives and grow your businesses. Also, if you made it this far, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'd love to be friends with you on all the platforms. I'm under the name Tech Boogie. So thanks a lot for watching once again, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time, all right? Peace.